When it comes to wristwatches, there's nothing quite like a strap made of genuine leather. It has a classic look that's versatile, working with both casual and formal attire. And a leather strap is always comfortable against the skin, because unlike synthetics, leather breathes. These premium watch straps are made of alligator hide, a leather with an unmistakable texture and shine. The tannery dyes the leather in classic shades, as well as in the latest high fashion colours and styles. Nearly all the production steps are manual, beginning with cutting leather pieces for the band's two straps. Every model requires a steel cutter for each strap in every size. Once cut, the back of each leather piece is coated with glue. Later, when it's almost dry, a core is centered onto it. This flexible form is made of a synthetic material, reinforced with fiberglass. Using a machine with a fine blade, small cuts are made at the ends to let the leather fold smoothly over the form. One side of each strap attaches to the watch with a spring-loaded bar. The leather is marked exactly where the bar goes, and a tiny hole is punched for its base. Next, super strength glue is applied, and the leather folded over to encase the bar. The glue dries instantly. The rest of the form is then coated with glue and laid in a mold that pushes the leather against the edge tightly, so the remainder can be neatly folded over. The open end is then run through a machine that cuts a beveled edge. Next, a tiny sander is used to roughen the surface, which will help the leather backing bond. To make the loops which go on the buckle strap, two small strips of leather are beveled. One loop sits directly below the buckle. A glued over flap of leather locks it in position. It's then pressed in flat with pliers to ensure a good bond. Each strap is then machine stitched with strong polyethylene based thread. To prevent unraveling, the thread is melted into the leather. On the buckle end, Two holes are pierced for stitches that reinforce the locked-in first loop. Then two holes are punched in the back of the second loop for stitching to reinforce the ends. This loop has to be movable so it isn't stitched to the band. The edge of the strap is heated. The iron's rounded tip molds an attractive rounded edge. Using a heated tool again, the channel through which the buckle will pass is widened. One end is inserted into a stamping press. It cuts a slot for the buckle's tongue. A heat press burns the company name into the leather lining. That same strap then goes into a press which punches the sizing holes. From here, both straps go off to the buckle department. Random samples are subjected to rigorous quality control testing. This machine pulls the ends of the strap in opposite directions with up to 22 kilograms of tension, far more than anyone would ever apply when it's time to buckle up.